Right, um, we're going to be looking at the subject of transposition which relates to toric lenses and it's very important to understand how to do transposition because if you are making up glasses for someone who's got astigmatism they will need toric lenses and you need to understand the principles of doing neutralization and transposition in order to make up glasses for that particular person. So a toric lens has two powers that runs at 90 degrees to each other and there are two different ways of writing the same thing. So I'm going to give you an example. So let's for example say that we have a plus 075 plus 150 axis 25. So this is a, a prescription which is for a toric lens. You've got three components. You've got a sphere, you have a sill, and you've got an axis. And all toric lenses have got these three components. Now, if you want to transpose that and write it in its other form, you'll end up with this. You'll end up with plus 225 minus 150 axis 115. And I'm going to just now explain how you do it. The rule one, we're going to work from the axis going backwards. So we're going to look at the component which, rep, which is the axis here. If the axis is less than 90, you add 90 to it. So in this case, the axis was 25. When you want to transpose that into its other form, you end up with 115. You add 90 to 25 to get 115. If the axis is more than 90, you have to take away 90. So you end up, say for example in this case we got 115, you take away 90 from that and you end up with 25. So for example if you've got a, an axis of 180, that's more than 90, you take 90 off that, so you end up with a, an axis of 90. And if it's an axis of 10, you want to add 90 to it, so the axis becomes uh, 100 and 100, axis 100. So that is the axis and how we deal with the axis. Now we're going to look at the rule that relates to the sill. And this again is very simple. The sill power always remains the same. So you never change the sill power. So, but the only thing that does change is the sign. So what, if it's a plus, when you transpose the, the uh, prescription, it then the sill power becomes a minus and vice versa. If it's a minus, then it has to be changed to a plus. So now we go on to the sphere. And the sphere is um, a little bit more complicated, um, but it's still quite straightforward, but you just have to think a little bit more. Now, if the signs are the same, in order to get the new sphere power when you transpose it, if the signs are the same, you add the two numbers together. So you've got 0.75, you've got 0.75 plus 150 is equal to 225. So when you transpose this one, you end up with a sphere power of plus 2.25. If those were both minus, you would still end up with adding those two numbers together and you would end up with minus 2.25. But in the case where the signs are different, you have to take the smaller number from the bigger number and then use the sign of the bigger number. So let's, for example, look at this example here down below. We've got a plus 2.25, 
and we have a minus 150. If we want to transpose that back into the plus sil form, we have to take the 150 away from the 225 and that equals 0.75. So it's the difference between the two. The sign always takes on, or the, the sign always corresponds to the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number between these two is 2.25, so the sign is a plus. So you end up with a plus 0.75. So those are the, the rules that apply in every single case when you want to do transposition. And we'll do a couple of other examples. And uh, let's just do a couple of minus powers. And then we'll use the, uh, the rule to show how it works all the time. So let's say we've got a minus 175, minus 175, axis 25. And we want to transpose that. So let's just follow these simple rules and then we'll be able to do it very, very simply. If the axis is less than 90, you add 90. So we add 90 to that and we end up with 115. The sill power never changes, so we know that that's a 1.75. The sign does change, so we know that that's a plus, so we're already halfway there. We've got a minus 175 and a minus 175. If the signs are the same, add the, the sphere and the sill powers together. So 1.75 plus 1.75 is equal to 350. And because they're both minus, that becomes a minus. So we've transposed this prescription into that. It's the same prescription but just transpose from a minus sill to a plus sill. Let's try another example. We'll try a, a plus and a minus. So a plus sphere with a minus sill. So let's say we've got plus 8 with a minus 275. Axis 85. So let's transpose that using these same rules as before. The axis is less than 90, so we're going to add 90 to that, so that becomes 175. The sill power never changes, so that's 275. The sign always changes, so that's a plus, so we've already done that. Now in this case, we have a plus 8 and a minus 275. So we have to take the, the lower number from the bigger number. So that will give us a 5.25. And then the sign will always take on or correspond to the sign of the bigger number. So that becomes a plus. Can you see here that that one plus that equals that? 5.25 plus 2.75 equals 8. So you can always double check to see that you've got the right maths. So this prescription can be written either minus sill form or plus sill form. But these simple rules will apply whenever you do transposition and if you can understand these rules you will be able to do trans transposition accurately every single time. Thank you.